One of the things we really wanted to focus on for SOCOM 4 was telling a more cinematic narrative. You've got a problem with authority and that makes you a wild card. That gets people killed. Push the storytelling to realms that a SOCOM game hasn't yet seen. You and I are nothing alike. If we provide an authentic experience, it's going to feel real. It's going to hit you in the gut. Okay, this is NATO Operations Commander. What's your status? Having the Operations Commander be our central character, we're able to tell his personal story and the story of his teammates and how they work together as a squad. In SOCOM 4, you're in charge of five characters. The first character is OpsCom. Wells is kind of uh, your uh, grizzled veteran. Um, he's seen it all, he's done it all. He's actually Ops Commander's right-hand man. There's also Schweitzer, and he's kind of the beast on the group. His job is to suppress the enemy. A little bit later on in the campaign, you'll actually meet Chung and 45. 45 is a special operations soldier from Korea, and her specialty is covert actions. She's very good at close quarters combat. Let's see if you're as good as you say you are. I'm better. The Korean Special Forces um, actually do have uh, female operatives within their ranks as well, so keeping with that authenticity. We're here to link up with the 45th Recon Detachment. Where's your commanding officer? You're looking at it. I'm the only officer left. The player is the leader of a Special Forces unit caught in a civil war in South Asia. Now you can fall in with me or wait here for help that isn't coming. Everything goes wrong and they have to extract themselves and if they can, complete the mission that they came in to do. Understood. We tried to minimize the on-screen HUD and have more big events throughout the environment. Again, to get you feeling like you're really in the field in Southeast Asia and experiencing this SOCOM story. In order to have a thinking man shooter, you must also have an enemy that thinks. And that's exactly what we provide to the player. The AI is constantly changing their tactics based on the player's play style. No matter what the player does, the enemy AI will have an answer. It is so reactive that it actually makes you have to retreat and fall back. And the first time we saw this, I think we were all kind of surprised as developers. Whoa, I actually had to regroup my squad, fall back and reposition them to deal with these enemies coming at me. It's not enough to simply shoot straight, but to also think smart. It's all about teamwork and tactics and authenticity. And that's a key differentiator between our game and maybe something that someone else has to offer.